What's going on guys? So if you were unlucky enough to have the diller go ahead and drill into your bumper, then this product is for you. And what we're taking a look at are bumper plugs from bumperplugs.com. This is actually for the Chrysler 300. Um, it's fairly simple though, they shipped extremely fast. So to install these, you're only gonna need two things. The bumper plugs come attached to this little tab right here. Um, I already have them installed right now. But you will also need either a 1 4th drill bit or a 932 drill bit. And I went ahead and just bought a new drill bit so I made sure I had the right fit. Now in the state of Virginia, you actually are supposed to have a front license plate on. So on the Mustang, I never bothered to uh, take it off and use bumper plugs or anything. But on the Chrysler, I didn't really like how the mounting bracket they had was placed. It was sitting right in here and I'll put a picture up so you guys can see. But it was kind of interfering with the grill. Um, so on the Chrysler, I wanted to do a stow and go. Uh, where I can mount the license plate a little bit lower down here so it's not affecting the appearance of that grill as much. And as you can see, they are color matched. I'll put the pricing and everything in the description of the video. Basically, the only thing that you need to do to install these is take a drill bit. You can either use a quarter inch drill bit or a nine and 32 inch. Uh, drill bit that's the ideal size if you use that if you go ahead and just go out and buy one like I did then you just have to drill straight through and it's a simple process but if you use the quarter inch then you're gonna have to kind of move it back and forth a little bit just to make the hole bigger either option will work um, but like I said I think it's worth just going out buying this it literally took me less than a minute to go ahead and drill the holes and put the bumper plugs in and so it looks a lot better than riding around with holes drilled into your bumper. And if you're fortunate to live in a state where it doesn't require a front license plate, and you may have moved from a state that did require it, then this is a quick fix. So definitely something to look into. I think it cleans the look up a lot. So anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick video and you can get these from bumperplugs.com. I'll put a link in the description with the pricing and all that information in there as well. Uh, basically, uh, they are painted to match. So you just select your car, the model, and then uh, it pulls up the paint option. So you don't have to worry about painting them yourself or anything like that in most cases. I have the Chrysler in the garage right now. Uh, I did get the windows tinted. As you guys can see, I did a tent strip on the top. I'm still going to be doing the full review of this car as I get it broken in and everything. But yeah, just wanted to go ahead and show you guys these in case you're wondering. A quick way to go ahead and make your bumper look better if you want to pull that front bracket off. Fortunately, you live in a state where you don't need a front license plate because I think it just ruins the look of the car anyways. But Virginia requires it, so I'm going to go ahead and put the stone go up there. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for your support, and I will see you next time.